Hi everybody, welcome back to the Taxable channel. Today, in this video, I am going to help you to understand what virtual cloud network and how do we create virtual cloud network in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So guys, before we start, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates, uh, such an amazing video that we are publishing every day, every week. So please subscribe now. Okay, so let's get started. And before we get started, let's understand what objective, what is the objective of this video? So the objective of this video is to help you understand what is virtual cloud network and how do we create a virtual cloud network in OCI? So after completing this video, you will be able to understand what VCN is and how do we create a VCN in OCI step by step and what are the various ways to create VCN. All right. So, so think of VCN is, is like your traditional on-premises network. Like when you set up the when you set up the network on-prem, you have to design your network. What will be the side range? What will be the subnet? Will it be public, private? What will be the firewall rules? What will be the gateway that you would like to set up? Do you would like to give access to the internet of your resources or not? And so on and so forth. So, so similarly, when you when you host your resources, when you deploy your resources on your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you may have to set up the virtual cloud network so that your resources can be secured. So this is the first step that you have to take when you move your journey to OCI. So the a virtual cloud network is a virtually private network that we set up in Oracle Cloud data centers. So again, it's like a wizard based approach that you have to go and then start creating your VCN of your choice of your CIDR range, and then you create the complete thing. So the VCN provides customer with complete control over their cloud networking. So they would like to deploy their resources and they would like to access those resources again within, uh, within their network or some resources they would like to access from the internet. So they have to do everything inside uh, by VCN functionality. So this includes uh, assigning the private IP addresses. You can create subnets. You can create route tables. You can create different kind of uh, uh, gateways. You can create different type of rules, the firewall rules, and so on and so forth. So we will look at all everything. So, but before we and and let's see how do we create VCN in. Uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So let's begin and let me show you in action. So of course you must have access of the uh, OCI and you must have access of one of the compartments to create a resource. So that can be granted via the policies that we have shown in one of the uh, video. So let's get started and see how do we create network. So click on this menu and go to the networking. And here we have a tab called virtual cloud network. So click on the virtual cloud networks. And when you do this, you first have to select the compartment in which you would like to set up your VCN. So VCN is a compartment resources. So meaning the compartment you, the VCN you create in a compartment, it cannot be visible in a, another compartment. So you have to manage your compartment at a, you have to manage your VCN at a compartment level. So here, when you come to this VCN page, you will see two buttons. One is create VCN and second is to start VCN wizard. So start VCN wizard will guide you what all resources will be created automatically without giving uh, information uh, on your own. So the first way is to create VCN is to use start VCN wizard where you will see you can create two types of VCN. One is VCN with internet connectivity where your resources can connect to the internet and somebody can access your resources from outside. So this is how the network will be created. Like the public subnet will be, the VCN will be created with a CIDR range. The private subnet will be created. The public subnet will be created. Some gateways will be created like internet gateway, net gateway, service gateway, and there's a OSN and there's a internet to it. So this is the first option in the VCN wizard. The second is to add internet connectivity and a site-to-site -site VPN to a VCN. For example, you don't want to expose your internet. You don't want to 
you want your private network access from your on-prem. So you may need to set up the site-to-site -site VPN or you may need to connect to the, you may need to set up a fast connect. So you can use either one, right? Uh, the Depending on your uh, requirement, you want the private subnet to be connected via on-prem, then you can choose this approach where the site-to-site -site VPN will be established. Using that wizard, if you don't want, you want the internet connectivity based, you can opt it. But it's not like once you use this option, you cannot add site-to-site -site VPN later. You can do that as well. But let's do this and click on a start VCN wizard. Once you do this, the 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 wizard will be open and here you can see the basic information you have to give let's say wizard demo wizard let's say test vcn one and you have to choose the compartment in which you would like to create and vcn with internet connectivity compartment vcn so the the CIDR will be taken automatically 10.0.0.16 if you would like to update it you can do this and here it will also create two subnets. One is a public subnet with this CIDR range. It will also create a private subnet with this CIDR range. Okay. Click on the next. So after this, along with the public subnet or private subnet, it will also create three gateways. One is called internet gateway. Okay. Then it will create a security list. It will create the route table. So it will create three more things for you. Gateway, internet gateway, security list, and then route tables automatically and simply say create and here you can see it will show you what all resources will be creating it is creating one vcn two subnets getting created one is internet gateway and then route table security list and updating route tables and updating private subnet so all those resources will be created now you can click on a view vcn to see how vcn looks like but if you come back to the vcn you can see your vcn is created Okay, when you click on a VCN, you can see two subnets, private subnet, public subnet is created with the CIDR range. You can see two route tables are created. You can see the prefix is added. You can see the security list is added. You can see the internet gateways added. You can see the DHCP options are added. So all those are added automatically. You don't need to create it manually. So this is the first way to create your VCN. The second way is to get the VCN to create manually. Click on a create VCN wizard and let's say so button test VCN2 and there you have to choose compartment. You have to assign the CIDR block, let's say 10.0.0.0 or 16. Oh, sorry, 10.0.0.0/16. Okay. And then you can do the DNS resolution, DNS domain name. You can also assign the IPv6 prefixes if you want. I will skip it and click on a create VCN. Okay, so the limit has been increased, so I cannot create more VCN. That's fine. But this is how you create VCN. But when you use this approach, or let me do one thing. Let me delete this. I can terminate this VCN and then we'll show you how do we create subnet okay so first of all i have to delete the subnets because subnets are associated with this so you have to terminate the resources which are attached with the vcn then only you will be delete you will be able to delete your vcn okay vcn also internet gateway is also used I can remove the internet gateway as well. Okay, maybe internet gateway is being used in one of the route tables here. All right, I guess I can delete now. Hmm. Internet gateway in use. Okay, internet gateway is in use. Let me delete this. Yeah, now table, that's fine. Security list, that's fine. I guess I can go ahead and delete this now. Now tables.
Yes, it will take time. It says uh, with route table is in use. Okay, route table is in use. Where is the route table? Where is the route table is used? Okay. All right. There's no information. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. But you understand, right? How do we create a VCN manually? So this is the way to create uh, uh, VCN in your OCI. I hope you find this video useful. If yes, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox. Thank you. Bye-bye.